Russia, America's greatest enemy and home of the world's nastiest salad dressing. <laughs> you may have forgotten that before Russia was hacking your grandma's Facebook page, they were doing actual superpower stuff, like invading countries, overthrowing governments, and beating the shit out of Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and this week, the world discovered what could be Russia's latest top secret plan for world domination. A seemingly tame beluga whale was spotted off the coast of Norway. And this morning, some believe this whale is actually being used to gather intelligence for the Russians. It sounds like something out of a Cold War spy novel. According to reports, the white whale wearing a strange harness appeared to be harassing boats in the Arctic. The straps on the harness also had a logo reading in English, Equipment St. Petersburg. Some experts believe this beluga whale was trained by the Russian military to be a spy. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I've heard it all. The Russians are training whales as spies? That is next level. And also, I don't think you want a spy that can easily be flipped by just operating at fish, right? Like, think about it. It's not gonna be a good spy. People will just be in the interrogation room like, tell me where it is, and the whale will be like, you'll never make me talk. Anyone want a fishy? <laughs> but the question is, why would Russia have a spy whale swimming around the Arctic in the first place? Well, we'll tell you why in our newest segment, If You Don't Know, Now You Know. Now, look, just because this whale was found wearing a Russian harness doesn't necessarily mean he's a spy. Whales are very sophisticated creatures. For all we know, he's just into some BDSM. <laughs> ah, and who are we to judge? What you do with your blowhole is your business. <laughs> but the reason people suspect this whale may be part of a crazy Russian plot is because in that region of the world, Russia has been getting up to a whole lot of no good. The Arctic is the newest and most daunting front in the expanding global competition between the U.S. and Russia. These five and a half million square miles are under an intense battle for dominance. Russia has aggressively expanded its military capability in the Arctic, establishing and expanding a northern command, forming Arctic brigades. They even planted a titanium flag on the seafloor beneath the North Pole. Russia planted a flag on the seafloor? That's such a primitive way to claim something. Yeah, it's like a dog peeing to mark its territory, which, by the way, is also dumb. Yeah, I said it, dogs. You heard me. <laughs> Just because you pee on something doesn't mean it's yours, all right? If that were true, I'd own every toilet seat in this building. <laughs> and two trash cans. <laughs> I couldn't hold it, I'm sorry. But that's right, the Russians are trying to claim as much of the Arctic as they can. And they're not just calling dibs, they're willing to fight for it. Moscow recently opened a new military base that is closer to Alaska than it is to Moscow. They call this base Northern Clover. The Russian army has already deployed coastal defense rockets here and specialized Arctic anti-aircraft systems built to perform in the cold. It's all part of Vladimir Putin's long-term strategy to dominate the Arctic. This is the Arctic Brigade. In training, in case there's confrontation with Russia's neighbors. The Kremlin has also previously released video of reindeer riding Russian soldiers. Okay, uh... <laughs> I don't know what's crazier, the fact that they killed the dude in training or that the Russians have reindeer soldiers training for them. And I mean, I guess for the reindeer, it makes sense. You know, because they don't earn enough working for Santa one day a year, so I mean... <laughs> No, of course, they need a side hustle. And in the Arctic, what are your other options, huh? You either fight for the Russians or you make ads for Coke. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, I've always wondered, why is a polar bear drinking Coke supposed to make us want to drink Coke? I don't get that. Hey, do you also eat dead walrus? Then I've got the drink for you! <laughs> and I know you're probably wondering, why don't we just let the Russians have the Arctic? We don't need any more ice. Todd brought a whole bag. <laughs> but it turns out, Russia wants the Arctic for the same reason anyone wants anything. Money. Across the Arctic, ice cover is shrinking at an alarming rate. Ice melt means rising sea levels, potentially threatening the very future of humankind. But in the meantime, ice-free land and navigation routes in the Arctic mean access to resources is becoming easier. There are significant deposits of oil and gas, as well as rare earths. There are also precious metals, such as uranium, gold, and platinum. Human beings are the dumbest creatures on Earth. 
We're running around like the world is ending. But in the meantime, gold. <laughs> but yes, the Arctic region is not just the world's largest ice skating rink. Turns out it's also got gold, platinum, and $35 trillion worth of oil and gas. And Russia may be the furthest ahead, but every country in the region is trying to get a piece of that ice. Russia isn't the only country mining for resources in the Arctic. The U.S., Canada, Denmark, and Norway also have laid claims to parts of the polar north. Governments see it as a land of new economic opportunities. We were Iceland's president says the melting Arctic is like discovering a new Africa. Oh. Here we go. White people discovering a new Africa, just like they discovered it the first time, huh? It's funny how Western nations are like, we're sorry for colonization and assuming that all land is ours for the taking. That will never, ever have... What's that? New land? Take it! Take it! Take it now! <laughs> Quickly, get me a flag! We don't have any flags. Then just pee on everything!